All right, guys, here we go with another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Man, I am tired of Regulation G, guys. But at least this looks fun. This has guess guess what? If you guys can like guess by the title what this is, and by by title I mean the the rental title is the word. But do you guys know what that means? It means bird is the word because the entire team is just birds. That's the whole point of the team. It's just birds. So we have a whole whole team, but we're, we have a bunch of birds and an imposter among us, Porygon C. Technically not a, eh, it's, it's a robot bird, I guess. It's a duck. But yeah, <laughs> we have a bird team. We have Murkrow here for Tailwind stuff, Taunt stuff. Feather Dance, which is really cool. If you don't know what Feather Dance does, because I, I'm sure not a lot won't know because it's not a very common move. It's basically charm, it's, but it's a bird move. And then we've got a uh, Ho-Ho here with the Earthquake because, I mean, you have a lot of birds and a lot of protects. So you might as well just use Earthquake on the Funny Bird with Secret Fire and Brave Bird and the Clear Amulet. We have Empoleon here with Competitive, Water Pledge, Ice Beam, Flash Cannon, and Vacuum. Damn, you could have had Grass Pledge too, man. You could have a Swamp. What are you doing? We're Swamp. Oh well, that would have been funny. Uh, we got Porygon Z with Stellar Terra, Shadow Ball, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and we've got Zapdos here with Roost, Tailwind, and Thunderbolt. And of course, the Sidewai here, which is rocking the Choice Scarf with Knock Off, Leaf Blade, Poltergeist, and Shadow Sneak. Let's see who ends up in the thumbnail, because there's a lot of potential on this team for a thumbnail. With that said, guys, if you guys want to try out the team, the rental will be in the description below alongside the Pokebase. Thank you, Lance, for the team. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want more VGC content, especially because we're getting pretty much stale it's getting stale because we're on regulation g for like about four months now it's i think it's been the longest honestly there's just so little room for for fun in this regulation we really need a new one and with that said guys let's just get straight into it and see what we can do okay guys what are we running into we're running into a freaking karaidon team i was about to say fire but it's, it's a karaidon team it's a sun team sun team Oh, Ho Ho can thrive in that, so that's not too bad. But what are we bringing? What else are we bringing here? We're we'll probably bringing uh, Murkrow for sure to deal with that. I mean, Ho Ho kind of looks good here. Besides the funny, I guess that dang thing could be a really annoying. We need something that can take it. Napoleon can take it. So can Decidueye though. Let's. Uh... Do we need Porygon at all? Let's got Ice Beam. Ice Beam could be good. I don't think it's Zapdos, but... Oregon's, I think it's the Sejuai though. I really think it's the Sejuai though. Not really, it's not, but... Uh, it's not, no, it's not. What am I doing? That's a silly thing, it's Porygon Z. Looking at the team again, yeah, there's no, there's no reason to bring it. I mean, I could, I could go, I could get away with like Poltergeist and stuff, but I don't think I want to bring it into a very heavy, fiery team like this. Because then it can't, if, if they bring Chiyu, I can't touch it. I absolutely can't touch it. I need to somehow preserve Empoleon for Chiyu. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna try. Oh, they went straight for these two as well. Yeah, that's what that was. What I was scared of, though. Uh, well, we want a tailwind here. We can't. We can't really feather dance him. We do have Grand Terra, but uh, that doesn't help me here. I don't even think I outspeed. What's his face in the sun? One twenty. That's two forty. Two forty. What's what's that? No, we don't outspeed. Yikes. Alright, well, let's pray that he doesn't just collision course and obliterate me. Because that will be pretty bad. We got Tailwind up. Don't know what we're doing afterwards, though. Yeah, there's the Hydro. Life Orb. Wild Charge. He has Wild Charge. 
Matchmaking, what the heck, man? You really gave him a gave me a wild charge Coridon to deal with when I'm running birds? Come on, man. I am so tired of this. Absolutely flabbergasted by this. Well, it's not going to do too much, so that's good. I'll foul play this. I'm going to flame charge. Does Ice Beam take it out, though? I'm hoping it does, because if it doesn't, we're kind of we're kind of boned. We're kind of boned if it doesn't. It does not. Okay, we're boned. Uh, yeah, we're boned. Oh wait, no we're not. Hold on. Hold the phone, we are not. We're actually okay. Here we go. Okay, hold on. Hold on, let me cook. Let me cook real quick. Let me just ducky this guy real quick. Let me let me show off my, my turtle crown real quick. Yeah, you see this? I have a turtle crown. I ain't scared of you. Oh, okay, I'm scared of you. Terrified. Why do you Terra now? Oh, I'm... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, take that, you punk. Take that, villain. Take this, villain. You're not gonna be light. I don't know why you Terra, brother. That was so silly. That terror was so silly. That was greedy. That was the most greediest terror I've ever seen in my life. Okay, I was kind of greedy too, but not really. I was actually okay because, like, I kind of needed all the damage to be to kind of make sure it goes down. But he didn't. Porygon <laughs> Z would probably not be able to take that. To be honest. Okay, here we go. Here's the fun. I think I want to Shadow Ball this thing and Flash Cannon it. And then we'll deal with the fish afterwards. Yeah, here comes the Tailwind. Can we live? Oh, Heat Wave? If it misses, sure. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. Damn, he's going nuts. Look at him. Crazy dude. Crazy dude. Okay, we get we get the we get the KO on this uh this whimsy. Let's get rid of whimsy because he, he could he could annoy me with like annoying stuff and I don't want to deal with it. Shadowbot doesn't do anything against this fish anyways. That yeah, might might tell when was gonna beat her out, but that's okay. Then we're just gonna go for vacuum wave because we now have uh ho oh to kind of just clean up, right? We have. Have earthquake. We probably won't go for earthquake right off the bat, but we do have it. Wait, did he miss again? Oh, that would have been funny. Uh, he might be scarfed into that, by the way. I don't. I don't think he specs, but he's definitely. Um. He's definitely most likely scarfed into that. So either way, I think Hoho would have won even if without that miss. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Thunderbolt here. I mean, the best, actually, the best thing here is to just do this then. We always try to double protect here then. Oh, I lived. But he scarfed, like I said. Yeah, we're fine. Rogan Z, thank you very much for your service. And also Empoleon. Empoleon did actually put on a lot of work. Thank you for your service, though. Oregon Z, I appreciate you. That was phenomenal. You did absolutely phenomenal there. Good dodge. Good KO on the on the on the wake. Good damage on the whimsy got. And and yeah, good good tanking on the Empoleon. Alright, let's get right into the next one. Okay. There's a Ting Lu on the team. 
อทิ้งลูทิ้งลูโอเค The s i t u a t time. Correct. I don't know how I feel about bringing my restricted into this, though. Right? Is this one where we don't bring bring it at all? It just doesn't do much. Well, it does do something. I need to pick who comes. Who's the last one? Who's the last one here? I don't think it is. I think it's Empoleon. Might even be Porygon Z. I want to bring Porygon Z. Empoleon might have actually been better here, though. I'll be quite honest. I think Empoleon was better, but I want to bring Porygon Z. Yeah, I think it was poor. Yeah, I think it was um, I think it was Empoleon. Oh well, we'll be fine. Empoleon deals with like half that team, and it's wearing the assault vest, so it can take those water spells at least. So I probably should have brought it, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Might get lucky, a lucky crit because we we have Leaf Blade, but he does go straight for it. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna tailwind. I'm just gonna go for. I'm I'm so scared to miss though. I yeah, will do it anyways. He did protect. That means he went for bleak wind. Yeah, hundred percent went for bleak wind. No reason not to. Try to poltergeist at the the other dude then. I live barely. I'm gonna go ahead and taunt this thing, and I'm just gonna leap late again. I think that's fine. I'm just trying to make it Terra. That's that's my goal here is to make it Terra. I might switch out too. I can see another bleak wind happening right now. I can 100% see that coming out right now. I kind of wish I had Sunny Day on this team, on this bird. He, he did bring Incineroar, wow. Knowing full well I had Impelion, he still brought it. Oh, that's okay. We're not running meta stuff anyways. That's okay. I kind of just wanted to play it simple, because if I, I overpredict, it's not going to work out for me. Either way. So it's just me losing 50-50s right now. Not much I can do here. But just take the hit. I can't even. Uh, yeah, Feather Dance is actually useless. Holy. The problem with Feather Dance in this meta. And which is why I don't like, like Charm and stuff. Is because of so many things kind of just resist it. Like, once in a blue moon, Charm will work on Whimsicott, but it's like, it's so... It's so hard, because the only word, the only like restricted that doesn't run Clear Amulet is, is literally... Um... The one dude, right? My Talon's about to peter out, too. He, he, played, he played it fine. I, I mean, I, I, I don't know what else to do. Don't know what else to do here.
Could I have just gone Zapdos then? I was really scared of Ting Lu. And if he didn't even bring it then, oh well. What can you do? What can you even do about that, you know? That's why I didn't want to bring the Restricted though, because I thought, you know, Empoleon was probably a better option here. If I had Empoleon, I probably would have played the, uh, the Decidueye a little different. Like, just slightly different, because I would have just swapped into Empoleon at that point. Oh boy, is it, I swear if it's Tinglu. It is, yeah, no, we, we, were, we were done. We were cooked. We were cooked this game. There's nothing we could do. We're absolutely cooked. There's nothing we can do about this. We probably needed to bring in Polyon. This is what I get for bringing Porygon Z instead. We brought the exact four that he needed to win this. I pretty much didn't even touch him. Good crit, but I mean, it doesn't even matter. Pretty much lose. And tell when Peter's out. Could go for Earthquake, but I mean, it's not gonna do much. I need to get rid of this thing, anyways. And protect. But we, we, we lose, because all he has to do is let Tinglu go down. He lets Tinglu go down. And then he just has to break Tornadus in Tailwind, and then he wins the game. Because I won't be able to stop the, uh, the Water Spouts. That's really all he has to do. Oh, he's protected. We go for knockoff then? Oh yeah, that, that's what I was expecting him to do, but he really just needs, just wants to have Tornadus come out. He doesn't need, he didn't even need to do this. That was a crit too, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm, I probably should have gone for, for that move. I'm gonna go try Sacred Fire now, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's a guaranteed loss, but I'm just gonna play it out. See how much damage I can do to it. I can take at least one mon away. Oh, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> I do nothing. I do no damage. And I don't even get the burn, yeah. Dang, this is over, fellas. I think I'm just gonna end it here. Like I like forfeit the match because there's no there's no reason for me to stay in anymore. There's a hundred percent no reason for me to stay. But all he has to do is tailwind and he's fine, especially because even Sacred Fire didn't do it. Sacred Fire didn't do anything, we have no chance we have no chance. So I'm happy to just surrender here. We gotta, we gotta win with the bird team anyway. So I'm, I'm happy with that at least. This team was literally designed to counter what I was, I brought. I didn't bring Zapdos because of Tignu. That was, that was literally why. That was exactly why I didn't want to bring it. This guy's thinking really hard, and I, I like, I already know what he has to do, and he's like thinking really hard. On his turn, as if like he has any way of losing this, he has no way of losing this. Sacred, sacred fire, like he could protect Tailwind here if he wants to protect, like keep his thing up. But I, I really would just let your Tinglu go down, get into Kyoro, you win the game. That's it. So I don't know what he was thinking. Like you don't, you don't have to think hard on your turn. I already, I already had your turn done for you. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. Another Sun team too. Well, we beat the first one, but 
Honestly, it was kind of dumb luck. And they have Tailwind again. I don't know what the heck do I do here. What do I have on this thing? Dark, yeah. That's not gonna help me. What do I have on this? Very can help me, kinda. I mean, there's no water type at least. That's that's kind of like the. I think it's just Murkrow Ho Ho. Porygon? And Polyon. Yeah. I think that's the play. We're gonna we're gonna see what happens. We're we're gonna see what happens. I really hate this regulation already. Please get me out. Get me out. This regulation is done. I've had enough. I've had enough of this whole cat and mouse of one restricted and just getting destroyed once your restricted goes down. Or your restricted gets fully countered by their restricted. So you have nothing you can do anymore. Hmm. This is kind of bad. How fast is uh, Morkrow? 1-1-1. One, one, one. No, it's not fast enough. Okay, we'll put Tailwind up. We'll Terra, we'll Earthquake. Call it a day. Figure out the rest of the battle afterwards. I wanted to preserve it for for, for the other dude, but... We're just gonna go with this. That's not the end. It's not the worst Terra to go. Yeah, he's gonna Tailwind, and I'm not gonna... I, I wasn't outspeeding that. Merkel's too slow for that. Alright. We do get the Earthquake off. How much is this gonna do? Good, good damage. Alright. I'm talking about. Oh, Electro Web, okay. Okay, um, I'm switching into... No, I'm not. Hold on. It doesn't matter who I switch into right now. They both get cleaned off by uh, Koridon. I don't think he ever switches into Koridon here, though. He might just let me have it. I'm going for it. I swapped first, but that doesn't mean he hasn't swapped yet. Murkrow is faster than Raging Bolt. Oh. He actually just went for an attack. That's crazy. It still KOs. Wow, that's crazy that he went for an attack. I really thought he would he would switch out there. I guess he doesn't want to take damage. He doesn't really have a reason to. That's okay. Yeah, there's this guy. There's the dude. I'm gonna go for a uh, ice beam. I'll go for the brave bird. We did Terra. How much is this gonna do? Is the question. I mean, yeah, he he has no reason not to. But I could have earthquaked. Then what does he do? He is collision in coursing that slot, okay. Goodbye, Empoleon. It's gone. 
Could have earthquaked. That might have been my out. Oh, he's just avoiding. He does not care about this other thing, though. Okay. This might be kind of silly to do, but it might work. Oh, he protected. Damn, that that does get me. That is an, a way out. Now I can't switch out. Ah, oh, he got me. You missed the the, the the poor little guy too. Okay, that's fine. He, as long as he lives, that's fine. Tailwind's gonna peter out. Alright, it doesn't matter what I do here. Okay, maybe it does matter. Do we survive a Flare Blitz? I doubt it. Really didn't think I would. Maybe a Foul Play KOs this thing though. Oh, it definitely does now. It definitely does now. Let it be known, Murkrow is the prehistoric dinosaur slayer. <laughs> okay. I could have predicted, but I was like, I kind of need to just guarantee something. Uh, I don't think it matters then. I don't think it matters anymore. We don't we don't outspeed this anyways. And our attack bros, yeah, no, it, it's it's over. It's over. Let me just let me just do some damage to this thing real quick. Yippee! We had to protect there, I think that was my only only option then. Really it really was. It really was my only option. He doesn't even need to icy wind. Because I just lose to this thing anyways. Unless I miss. Because he misses. Yeah, it's not going to miss. And we're gone. Yep, there we go. Okay, that's fine with me. I'm tired of this regulation anyways. That's what I'm saying. Once your once you're bur once you're restricted is gone, it just doesn't feel good. One, one, one mistake is all it takes for you to lose. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, yeah. I don't really have much to say, honestly. This regulation is just getting really, really stale. They need to they need to figure out something to, with these regulations because what was it? Four months? May, June, July, August. And if we count April, because people uh, content creators start trying out regulation G stuff, like they start a new regulation G testing phase during the the month that something gets introduced, like the announcement gets introduced. It's technically five months of the same regulation, and it's just not enough. Like, it's just too much. Like, they have so many Pokemon, but they, so many of the Pokemon are out of the game that you you really don't have a lot of space for creativity or just having fun. You kind of just play. Me if you're not a content creator, if you're a con if you're not a content creator, this doesn't affect you. But like for us that try to make some sort of content, it just doesn't work out. It's just too much. But yeah, at least I mean the team at least got a win better than nothing better than the admi palm team at least so i'll take that and i think if i just protected ho ho there i probably would have been fine because i would have taken out the uh i would have taken it out but then it's it's iffy because no, i know i i think ho ho could live on heat wave it has so much special defense i think it, it can and then we just earthquake and win that was yeah like i said one mistake it's all it took for me to lose there because I was hoping um, they might try to like kill one of them. If I if I called it wrong on the Murkrow foul play, and I protect, then I just lose anyways. So it's really a 50-50 at that point. But either way, it's it was fun playing the bird team though. I, I can't even say that because it's just it's just birds and Burgundy did get to do something with the Stellar Terra. 
So I'll call that a win. But yep, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.